What's up, YouTube? We're back. Beautiful morning. I'm telling you, crispy bluebird day. We've got some waves on the water. We're gonna get some protection there. We like that. So we're gonna sit back, cast at them, put some crappie in the boat. Real quick, just wanna let everybody know that guide trips are opening up for the fall, guys. We've got a lot of guide trips scheduled, but we definitely still have some openings. So if you have an interest in getting out and catching a ton of fish, fish go in the boat in the fall time, guys. Awesome, when that water temperature drops, it gets so good. Reach out to me at 3poundfishing at gmail.com and we're filling up the schedule. It will fill up, guys. November, December, all those months, guys, are fantastic, even October. Seriously, uh, that's when you get the volume of fish, just an absolute ton of fish, because they just start to be super active as that water temperature goes down. So we're gonna look at the water temperature here. Crispy day, no doubt about it. Um, so we're past those, I think those 87 degree water days. I think we're probably sitting around 82, but we're gonna see here shortly. Let's do it. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I think we're gonna be in the 70s here. I think we're gonna be in the high 70s. This is gonna be good. That water temperature now it's starting to uh, affect the transducer, so you're getting a realistic uh, temperature there. And I bet you we're gonna end up right there in that 76. So that's that's a big time cool down, guys. Big time cool down. We're gonna be using the Hammer 10, the Asteroid. There's no reason whether I use the Asteroid or Comet right now. I don't think they're gonna be necessarily that spooky. Um, just happens to be on this reel, but I have confidence in it. And that's the, we talk about confidence a lot in fishing. Um, you gotta have confidence in what you're using, so. <clears throat> Good fish, guys. Bam, good fish. <coughs> what a way to start an episode off, and that didn't take long at all. That's freaking awesome. Good solid fish. Of course we let them go here at three pound fishing. Bam. Now I wanted to let you guys know that we have a new uh, mega pack, let's go fishing pack. Um, it has uh, paddle tails in it. It has regular jigs in it. It has a ton of hair jigs in it. This is now available on the website, threepoundfishing.com. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let's see if I can get you up right there. Boom, you just get a ton of stuff. Uh, really take care of a full day. You've got the jig heads, you've got the plastics, the paddle tails that you're gonna be able to take care of. And we only have a limited amount of these. This is the bigger size. <clears throat> We're calling it the Mega Let's Go Fishing Pack. Um, brand new Plano box. Check it out. Um, if not, no big deal. Now, today I'm using the Asteroid. I always like to talk about braid because on our lake where it's a really quick, finicky bite, I think it's super important that people try braid. Now I know there's a frustration with braid in general for people that are new users, but trust me, more time on the water with it and you're gonna figure it out where you're gonna have minimal amount of tangles, that type of thing. Now my two favorites right here are Asteroid and Comet, 10 pounds from Sniping Braid. Those two right there are my go-tos. I always got them in the boat. You can't go wrong. High vis or blacked out, doesn't matter. We're fishing the boat, let's do it. All right. Smaller guy, but we'll take it. We'll take it, we got the thump. We got the thump, there you go. Nice black crappie. If you guys that don't know about the difference between a black crappie and a white crappie, black is very sporadic speckles. A white will have bars, vertical bars. They are representing a white crappie. And you can actually have a hybrid, which is a mixture of both. Let's let them go. All right. Good fish right there. <clears throat> Man. Solid fish, different day, guys. Let me tell you what's going on. This episode has definitely taken a twist. Bam, I'll let him go though, for sure. 
that's all right guys different day finishing up this episode unfortunately i got really sick yesterday um yeah and i have uh got back out here this evening i finally feel pretty good um but i'm back and we got an overcast day it's not bluebird anymore so uh welcome back again we're still on the same episode casting to them but this time we definitely have some overcast conditions which are perfect for this type of uh this type of fishing right we like some cover the cover is the waves the cover is the uh the overcastiness so we can uh probably get a little closer so here we go let's put some more check them out right there guys we got them right there they're stacked up Yeah, baby. <clears throat> we on fire. Maybe that overcast day really does it. Right there, another solid fish right there, guys. All right, guys, well, that's gonna end it. Be honest with you, I'm a, I still feel a little bit of something. And so I'm gonna go home and relax. Uh, this video will be going out here on this Sunday. Appreciate you guys. Hope you guys are enjoying the, the end of summer. Obviously the temperature changes are, are occurring right now, which is a great time of the year book now for the guide trips in the fall time without a doubt um, that is the hot time november in particular so i always tell everybody november through april that's the time and november is an incredible month so you can uh, get a hold of me at three pound fishing at gmail.com and um yeah man uh, the the schedule is starting to fill up october is also very good as long as we get that temperature change and we have been doing a lot of guide trips on wren lake as well so if you have an interest in going to wren lake hit me up take it easy guys please subscribe Take it easy.